I don't know about you, but it's 85 degrees where we are and we're making one of the best things you can make in hot weather, Chinese chicken hoisin lettuce cups. Love these. In fact, Mrs. Cooking Guy, we'll call her Kelly, asks for this at least twice a month. And I say yes, at least once a month. You can't give in. Look, I've been married 36 years because I keep her wanting certain things. If I give her everything she wants right off the bat, she'll leave me for her old boyfriend, Chris Christensen. But it's very easy and it's very delicious. And before uh, anybody goes, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no carbs, there's no flatbread, there's no pizza, there's no bun, there's no, no, there's not. We don't always need that. Could this be a main course? Max. No, yes. Are you indecisive? No, yes. Uh, it could be a main course, but I think it's better as an appetizer. I think this is something that you have people come over. It's one of the first things you put in their hands. It's, it's very fine. You make it, you let them put the stuff in the cup and it's all great. And we have a new, uh, small, not too exciting, but a new toy to play with. Here's the lineup. Cut veggies, cut chicken, make the sauce. Boom. Just like that. Boom. Once more. Vegetables, some onion and some red pepper. We don't need a lot. Uh, we're cooking a pound of chicken, so we probably need, I don't know, a quarter cup of each, diced small. So a couple cuts this way to our onion, and then this way. We turn and we do this. Perfect, that's all I want. Does that look like a quarter cup to anybody? Looks Perfect. like more, looks like too much. I think this much is a quarter cup. This, okay, so that's that looks right to me, so. I cut too much. I'll put this away for another day and we'll cut our red pepper like this. This will probably be all we need. Look, I'm gonna cut the chicken pretty small, so we'll cut these pretty small. I like them to be the same. Mimic each other. Perfect. One side of a red pepper. See, it looks like too much. We're not gonna measure. Do you wanna measure? No. Fine. Don't measure. I want that much. Get to put it in. Who cares? This is not baking. You do what you want when you're not baking. All right, chicken's next. Max, what would you prefer, thighs or breasts? Breasts, Great. obviously. You're getting thighs. Do you want it to be good? Or what? Do you want it to be good or dry? We're using thighs. One at a time, we'll cut them into little bits. So just let me show you about how small I want them and then it will be boring and then I'll just let Max play some pretty music and then I can do this. So little, look, this is it, little. Take your time, you don't need to rush here, right? And if there's little bits of fat, that's okay, okay? Just like this, I will stop talking. Max will show this happening. Boys, could we have used ground chicken? Sure. Max? Yes. Sure, if you want it shitty. Because what is ground chicken? Is it breast? Who knows, probably. Could be beaks and snouts and shit like that. No, sorry, yeah, those are hot thank dogs. You. Look, you're gonna eat this and you're gonna be happy that I used thighs, Max, okay? Okay, fine. Thank you. All right, I'm not talking anymore, now I'm just cutting. Okay, so instead of using ground chicken, which we don't want, or I don't want, could you put this chicken in a processor and buzz it a couple times? Yes. Definitely. You could, but I think you don't want to do that because this being in little pieces is the way you want it. You don't want it to be mushy, and there's always the chance that one extra pulse too much just gives you mushy chicken. Little pieces, that's what we're headed for. And if this takes you a bit to do, then it takes you a bit to do. All right, chicken's done. We'll put this in our little pan to get it off to the side and we make our sauce. Okay, and before the sauce, I forgot we need some ginger and garlic. So we'll do that. The garlic, I'm gonna just hit lightly the side of my Sam the Cooking Guy seven inch and the curry knife with Granton Edge. Take off the paper on both and rather than mince it into a fine little nothing. I'm gonna just chop it up. Little tiny bites of garlic in this will be delicious. I don't need to pulverize it. All right, garlic done. Ginger goes like this. I need about, I don't know, about a half a tablespoon probably. So you get rid of the woody part around the outside. Say a chance. Get rid of the woody part around the outside? <laughs> and we cut? No. Oh. Oh. Round the outside, round the outside. Oh, yes. forgot about that. Just a quick little mince of this. Take your time, no need to rush. There's really no need to rush. All right, this goes in with our garlic. Perfect amount. Now our sauce. 
Our sauce begins with a quarter cup of hoisin. Doesn't matter who's branded it, not pimping this brand. Hoisin, H-O-I-S-I-N, kind of like Chinese barbecue sauce. The addition of this in your pantry will make a lot of things taste wonderful. Then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of chili paste. Sambal looks like that. Teaspoon of soy, uh, I don't know, half, third of a teaspoon, sesame oil. Quarter of a teaspoon, sesame oil. Too much is gonna be overwhelming. And we mix. You know what we can do now? We can cook. And to cook, we're using our new toy, an induction burner. Here's the deal. An induction burner is perfect when you can't have an open flame anywhere. It's better than an electric little coil thing. Gets super hot, super fast. Thing is, you can only use certain pans on it. Cast iron, yes. Carbon steel, yes. This is carbon steel pan we're trying out because we have some thoughts about well, never mind. But so this is what we're going to do. But the interesting thing is when there's not a contact between the pan and, and the surface, heat doesn't transfer. If I'm cooking, sizzling away, and I lift up the pan, the heat stops there, which means the heat stops here. So it always needs to be on there. We'll turn this on, get it up to 500 degrees. There's a little fan in it. This is cold right now. Oh, look, it just got hot. But also what's really cool is I can barely keep my hand there. If I lift my hand off, here, look at that. Okay, so first things in the pan will be our onion and our red pepper, a little oil first. And you can see the fact it's moving, it's heating, this is very good. And we might as well put our onion and our pepper in to get going. Look, for wok cooking, which this sort of is, induction's not ideal because you know, you're lifting up. But now you, you can't lift up because it'll go off. Great. Next in, with a tiny bit more oil to help it. Avocado oil, of course. You see how fast this cooks? Put this in, let it hang out a bit. Had something else in mind to say, but I'm not allowed to. Oh, let it do its thing? Yeah, I didn't say it. So you can see now, look, we're cooking. I don't need pepper because there's enough spice from the chili sauce, but I will give it a little salt. Everything, everything gets a little salt. Perfecto. This has been in what, like a minute? Yeah. yeah. Right? So this is a very fast, forget it. Hey, this isn't a 30 minute meal. This is more like a 15 minute meal. And most of that is prep. Come on, get back in. Beautiful. I'd say the chicken is a maybe 30, 40% of the way there. Okay, so the chicken is about 85% uh, of the way there. We had a tiny bit more oil right there. Now the ginger and the garlic. Look, let it sit for a second to get uh, super fragrant. And when it does, we mix this in. Oh my, so fantastic. And last, but definitely not least, we're ready for the sauce, ladies and gentlemen, like this. And we mix, and oh, the smell from right here is insane. Make sure everybody's covered nicely, and then, Right when it's at that point of amazing looking, off it comes and we're ready to eat. And here's what we're serving in, butter lettuce leaves. Aren't they gorgeous? Now look, of course, you can pick off huge guys like that. You will find those waiting for you. Say it, Chance. Around the outside. Around the outside around What's the outside. going on here today, boys? But the closer you get to the middle, they become slightly smaller. Of course, not yet perhaps more manageable. Look, you don't need the biggest leaves in the world. I prefer these smaller guys. These guys are okay. They're just a bit uh, huge and weepy for me. So I like these guys here. And then they get smaller, but here's what you do. You just have all these out and then your guests come and create their own. Okay, so I'm gonna give these guys a quick rinse, dry, and then we build. So here's how this is gonna happen. Right before I put this in a serving bowl, I'm gonna give it some chives. If I had green onions, I would give it green onions. But guess what? I don't. I am sadly out. Those are technically green onions. They're technically green onions. We'll put some more on top, but I like some mixed in. So now we'll just put this in here to make it look pretty. Look how beautiful this stuff. And by the way, serving this room temp is a thousand times acceptable. Nobody says you can't. Would I want it cold? Ah, room temperature would be my choice if it wasn't gonna be hot. And serving at room temp lets you make it ahead of time and not worry about it. So now here's our leaves, all beautiful, stacked. Just have them like this for your guests. You have this like this, 
And so the only other thing you need are a little bit more of the chives to go on top, but some uh, busted up peanuts. Fantastic. And here's how this goes down. You take a little leaf. Oh boy, whose phone is that? Phone Just finishing shooting. Can I call you back, sweetheart? When you finish your call, you take a leaf, you put some of the chicken with the hoisin, the ginger, the garlic, your sesame oil in here, and then some of these peanuts over the top, extra little dusting of chive. And this is almost like a, a Chinese chicken taco, leaf style. But wait for the eating. What do you say there, huh? Huh? Could you do it with shrimp? Yes. Could you do it with beef? Yes. Could you do it with octopus? Yes. Could you do it with lamb and pork? Yes, 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 yes. Just do it. Holy mother of God. I'm not kidding. It was one of the greatest things. P.F. who? Yeah, P.F. who. By the way, now I feel bad for uh, telling my wife I won't make it as often as she wants. Honey! I don't have to go. Honey, I'm going to make it again real soon. I promise. For you. Not for Chris Christensen, though.